the third mini quiz. First, a bill was drawn for rupees 10,000 on 12th May. The term of the bill was three months. Due date of the bill will be A, 12th August, B, 14th August, C, 15th August, and D, 13th August. Let's see, 12th May, 3 months, 12th May plus 3 months, April, 12th May, June, July, August. So it's 12th August plus 3 days, 15th August, but 15th August is a public holiday. It is Independence Day. Therefore, it will be the immediately preceding day. Therefore, correct answer 1B, 14th August. 1B, 14th August. Next. On 1st August, X draws a bill on Y for 30 days after sight. The date of acceptance is 8th August. Maturity date of the bill will be A. 8 September B. 10 September C. 11 September D. 9 September 30 days after sight. 1st August, X draws a bill on Y for 30 days after sight, the date of acceptance is 8th August. Therefore, we should start from 8th August, 8th August plus 30 days plus 3 days of grace. Therefore, plus 33 days. So, how many days more in August? 31 minus 8. We get 23 days. 23 days in August. We need another 10 days, therefore 10 days of September, 10th September should be the date. 2B, 10th September, 30 days after sight, therefore date of acceptance is the date from which we begin, from 8th August. Correct answer should be 2B, 10th September. 3. A bill of exchange is drawn by Ajay on Vijay for rupees 10,000 on 30th January 2000 for one month. The due date of the bill would be 29th February 2000, B. 2nd March 2000, C. 3rd March 2000 and D. 4th March 2000. A bill of exchange is... I'll give you a minute to... 10 seconds. Thirtieth Jan plus one month would actually be thirtieth of February, but we don't have thirty days in February, therefore it would be twenty ninth February plus three days of grace. That would be 1st, 2nd and 3rd of March. The correct entry should be, correct date would be 3rd March 3C. 4. A bill of exchange is drawn by Ajay on Vijay for rupees 10,000 on 30th January 2000 for 30 days. The due date of the bill would be A. 29th February 2000 B. 2nd March 2000 C. 3rd March 2000 and D. 4th March 2000 So it's 30th January plus 33 days. 30 days plus 3 days of grace. So you have in January, you have one day because January has 31 days. The bill is 30th January, excluding 30th January, one day in January. Next, February 2000, 2000 is divisible by 4, exactly divisible by 4. It is a leap year and therefore we have 29 days. This is 30 days. But we need... Another three days, we need another three days. 
Therefore, first, second, third march should be the correct answer. Correct answer should be 4C, third march. Fifth one. In case of bill at sight, days of grace are one day, two days, three days or nil. A bill at sight is a demand bill. It has to be paid immediately and therefore the days of grace are nil. 5D should be the correct answer. Next, Shankar accepted a 90 days bill of rupees 10,000 drawn by Suman on 5-2-2001. On 13-3-2001, Shankar wished to retire the bill. Suman offered rebate at the rate of 12% per annum. What is the amount of rebate? A150, B187, C184 and B9. Ninety day bill ten thousand five two two thousand one. <clears throat> so let us first see what is the due date because in order to retire the bill, <clears throat> when a rebate has been offered at the rate of twelve percent, it would be for the remaining period. It is a ninety day bill, so we need to take from five to two thousand one. Two thousand one would not be a leap year. Plus, we need 93 days. So, let us see, go month-wise. In February, we would get 28 days in February, since it's not a leap year, minus 5, that is equal to 23 days in February. March, we will get 31 days. January, February, March. So, March has 31 days. And April has 30 days. So 23 plus 31 plus 30, we get 84 days. We need another 9 days since we need a total of 93 days. Therefore, we need 93 minus 84 equal to 9 days. This is 9 9 days or 9th May would be the date of maturity of the bill. On 13-3, the bill has been retired on 13th March. So how many days do we have remaining in March? In March, I am writing against this, in March we have 31 days minus 13 days. Therefore, you have 20, oh sorry, 18 days. We have 18 days. April, 30 days and 9 days of May. Therefore, we have a total of 57 days. Rebate is 12% into 10,000 for how many days? 57 days out of 365 days. Make this calculation here and we get 187, 187 days. So this has to be worked out entirely by calculating the number of days. Rebate is for 57 days remaining from 13-3-2001 to 9th May. From 13-3 to 9th May, number of days is 57. Interest at the rate of 12% for 57 days on 10,000 would be 187. Therefore, the rebate would be 187. 6B should be the right answer. Next. On 1st January, X draws a bill on Y for 20,000 for 3 months. At maturity, Y requests X to renew the bill for 2 months at 12% per annum interest. 
amount of interest would be A400, B300, C360 and D380. Twelve percent on twenty thousand for two months renewed two by twelve. This should be equal to rupees four hundred. Correct answer should be seven a four hundred. Eight on first January X draws a bill on Y for rupees fifty thousand for three months. X got the bill discounted on fourth January at twelve percent per annum. The amount of discount on the bill will be a. 1500, B 1600, C 1800 and D 1450. It's 12% on 50,000 for 3 months. Answer should be 1500. 8A. 1500, 12% on 50,000 for 3 months should be 1500. A simple way of calculation, since it's 12% per annum, it would be 1% per month. 1% 1 on 50,000 is 500, for 3 months it would be 1500. This is a simple way of calculating when 12% per annum is given. <coughs> so the correct answer, 8A, 1500. Next, ninth one. Mr. X draws a bill on Mr. Y for rupees 30,000 on 1st January for 3 months. On 4th February, X got the bill discounted at 12% per annum. The amount of discount would be A. Rupees 900, B. Rupees 600, C. Rupees 300, and D. Rupees 650. The, it looks very similar to the previous one. However, the catch is that the bill was discounted on 4th February. Since it was discounted on 4th February, the bill was for 3 months. Discount period is only for 2 months. It should be 12% on 30,000 for 2 months. This should be 600. I repeat. 1% every month, 300 for 2 months, therefore you would get 600. The correct answer should be 9B, 600. Next, on 1st January, Varsha sold goods worth 20,000 to Renu and drew a bill on Renu for 3 months. Renu accepted the bill and returned it to Varsha who discounted the bill with the bank on 4th February at the rate of 15% per annum. The discounting charges will be A. 3000, B. 750, C. 500, D. None of the above. Discounting charges should be 15%. Sold goods for 20,000. What is the period? Draw, drew a bill on Renu for 3 months. It was again discounted on 4th February. Bill was for 1st January. Therefore, it is after a month. Remaining months are only 2. 15% on 20,000 into 2 by 12. Rupees 510 C should be the answer. 10 C 500. 